So um, let's talk about Netflix, shall we? So Netflix gave uh, 11 million to a company to produce a movie and they lost it all trading options. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think this is real or rollout <laughs> for the movie? And uh, what what are some lessons that can be learned from this situation? Listen, but Troy sent me a text and was like, listen, he made a bunch of money off Dogecoin. Yeah. Like, this, this, I think the story Detroit is complex, man. Yeah, this so the story is, is really complex. So it sounds like they gave him 11 million. In actuality, the, the budget was 55 million. Mm -hmm. So he had 55 million to do this film called Conquest. The, the, the dude's name is uh, Carl Wrench. So he got 44 million to do this Netflix deal, which is crazy because Amazon was bidding on it too. They lost. He asked for more money for production, right? He said he needed the, the total 55 to get this done. So when they gave him the additional 11, uh, <laughs> he put it into the stock options, right? He put it into stock options, I think it was like $11 million. He lost six of it within like 10 days, he lost 6 million. But the Jeez. other four, this is crazy. The other four, he invested in Dogecoin. That, so he put $4 million in Dogecoin, I think in like, maybe March or April of 2021, that $4 million turned into $27 million because Dogecoin went on that run. Yeah. So the crazy part is Netflix is looking at like, that's our money that you invested, right? So now there's like litigation going back and forth, like who's entitled to that money, right? You, you were supposed to be using it for production, right? You didn't, there's no movie coming out. You made profit off the money that you were supposed to be doing for production, right? <laughs> so now what happens? So then you go, the story gets deeper, right? When he when he got the 27 million from Dogecoin, here's a list of things that he purchased. He bought five Rolls Royces, because I mean one's not enough. <laughs> a Ferrari. Well, he the cards for the movie. It, so that's crazy. That's that's what he actually what he said. So you bought a Ferrari, a uh, restaurant, Constantine watch, uh, some high-end furniture, and designer clothes. And when they asked him about the expenditures, he said it's all part of the production budget. So now it's in litigation, like what happens to this money? <laughs> this is like a, a, one of these ill stories. The, the first part is that he was getting 55 million to get a movie. I mean, Insane. I've never, I haven't seen any of his work before. I'm not familiar with any of it, but that's when you're talking about these streaming services and we talk about this all the time, how are they gonna make profit when they give out these big budgets for people who haven't produced at a high level? 55 yeah. million is now down the drain, really. But they're looking at like, yo, he needs to give us some of that money from the profits he made. It's an interesting litigation that's going to happen. I'm not sure how this gets handled. This is one of the greatest rollouts I've ever seen. When I first saw this, I was like, okay, this is a lie. Then like 50 people sent it to me and I'm like, okay, let me look into it. Then you sent that to me today. And I'm like, damn, he financed the loss. But if he says Conquest was a movie about a look, what if this is like the new wall i'm a cape for him for a second just like the new version of wall street and he wants to tell a real life story based on true events it's tough man now he does have to deliver the movie but this in itself this is a documentary inside of a documentary already i don't know how it's going to end up um when i heard this and then you sent me that about how much he made i was like why the hell did we do this we literally should just have one option account where I lose a whole bunch, let academics and Vlad kill me. Y'all win a whole bunch, and we turn into a movie. We got to get our Renaissance tour on next year, <laughs> my lord. So, kudos to him on the Do all the crypto people. Shout out to him on the Dogecoin win. Um, this is a great rollout. Like, and of course, because the the hype of trading and options has died down since 2020, 2021. Um, I don't think it's correct on what he did like i don't think it's moral but if they didn't state in their perspectives that he can only use that money for film or if this is part of research he may end up getting away with it but he he does need to produce a movie but i'm mad yeah. i didn't think of this idea this is a real conquest i mean contractually he's obligated to that money now what he mm -hmm. does with the money right if you give him a budget for a film I mean, technically, it belongs to him or the company that it was wired to. I think they might have wired it to one of his LLCs, which is makes it tougher for them to try to recoup that money. That's right? tough. He, that's tough. Yeah, that is tough. 55 for a movie and you never seen his work? Yeah, I wonder what options he put it in, though. That's a lot to lose in 10 days. Six million in 10 days is... That's tough, bro. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one. That's a tough I imagine one. if he would have won on both sides, though. He looked like a genius. He looked like a genius. Hundred million dollar budget. I know one wired and clear. We need to call Netflix though. 
<laughs> Good for UTA, CA. Hey, what, hey, let's get it from Tubi. Tubi, y'all got 40 for us? <laughs> we'll come right on over. <laughs> Man. That's a fact. 